Hello everyone. In this video, I'm explaining the concept of identifying concave polygons. To identify the polygon, whether it is a concave polygon or a convex polygon, I'm going to use two different types of algorithms. Before that, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. To get the notification of my videos, please click the bell icon. Right? So if you want to know more about the polygons and its types, you can refer my video Polygon and its types. The link for that video is given below in the description section. Right? So let me start with the explanation. So before identifying a polygon is a concave or not, I need to know some of the concepts related to concave polygon first. So here I am not going in detail with respect to concave polygon. So as I already told you can refer my video related to concave polygon, right? So but I will give I will give only brief idea related to concave polygon now. So to identify whether a polygon is a concave or not, here you have to consider mainly three important points here. So first important point is a concave polygon interior angle a concave polygon angle is there right one of the interior angle should be greater than 180 so you can see there so this is the so you can see the highlighter here so this is the example if your polygon is a concave polygon then one of its angle is greater than 180 this is the first condition so second condition is the extension of some of the edges of a concave polygon will intersect with other edges so when you extend the edges of a concave polygon it will intersect with the other edges so this is the example here so as you can see the highlighter here so here i'm extending the line here extending the edge here that is red color so you can see here i'm extending the edge but this edge is interacting interacting with the other edge also that is why i marked the intersection point here so this is a concave polygon right when you extend the edge it is interacting with the other edge also this is the second condition so first condition one of the interior angle is greater than 180 degree second condition when you extend the edge of the polygon it will intersect with the other edge of the polygon right next what is the third condition see so some pair of interior points will produce a line segment that intersects the polygon boundary right so when you uh, join the vertices any two vertices of the polygon concave polygon then that uh, uh, diagonal connecting the two interior points it's going to interact with the boundary of the polygon you can see here so this is the example here here i'm connecting the two vertices of the polygon here the diagonal uh, connecting that vertices right it is uh, intersecting with the edge of the polygon also you can see this is the edge of the polygon but this uh, diagonal joining the two vertices is intersecting with the edge of the that is boundary of the polygon so if i want to say a polygon is a concave polygon these three conditions so that is the angle greater than 180 degree uh, when you extend the edge the edge should be intersect with the other edge and when you draw the line between two inter uh, vertices interior vertices then that line is going to uh, intersect with the boundary of the polygon so this condition needs to be satisfied so if you want to uh, tell a polygon is a concave polygon now you can ask a question yes this is okay but how we are going to uh, identify this uh, in the computer so to uh, identify the polygon is a concave polygon or a convex polygon especially sorry concave polygon you are going to use two types of algorithms so according to that algorithm if you apply this procedure you can easily find out uh, whether my polygon is a ca concave polygon or not right so we next we will see the different algorithms to find out the alga polygon whether it is a concave or not so this is the first algorithm so it is a very simple algorithm so this algorithm is going to find out whether my polygon is a concave or not so what is the procedure here 
so first i will tell the procedure then i will uh, take up the example uh, then you will easily understand right so first step what you have to do means so to identify whether a polygon is a concave or not you have to find out the cross product of the successive edge pairs so i will explain uh, with the example don't worry so what is the first step here so you have to calculate the cross product of the successive pairs of edge vectors this is the first step once the cross product of the edge vector is calculated then the values of that cross product all the values all the values of that cross product of the edges either should be positive or all the values should be negative understanding so all the values of the cross product of the edges should be positive or all the values should be negative then no problem but some of the values are positive and some of the values are negative then that values are mixture of both positive and negative means then you can easily tell that your polygon is a concave polygon right getting guys if all the values are positive then it is a convex polygon if all the values are negative then also it's a convex polygon but the values are mixed positive or negative then your polygon is a concave polygon right understanding so that's why if you get any mixture of values in the cross product that is if you get mixture of uh, positive and negative values then you can easily tell that your polygon is a concave polygon getting guys so now i will take up the example then you will easily understand so this is the polygon i'm considering here so uh, this polygon is having uh, six edges right so obviously this polygon is a concave polygon now we will apply the algorithm to find out right whether this uh, polygon is a concave or not yes it is a concave but uh, we will prove this by applying this algorithm so this is the polygon i'm considering here so it is having how many edges six edges e1 e2 e3 e4 e5 e6 now we will see so what is the first step i told you guys so first step here what you have to do means before finding the cross product first you have to find the values of the coordinate for each edge see remember each edge will have some values because edge is formed by joining the two vertices obviously each edge will have how many coordinate values two coordinate values so each edge will have two coordinate values that is x y because this polygon is displayed in the uh, two dimensional screen two dimensional computer screen right that's why uh, this uh, edge contains how many vertices two vertices each vertice is each vertice is will have coordinate values two coordinate uh, values so and each edge is represented by x comma y value right now what we will do means uh, when you connect the edge between two vertices you will get a coordinate values right first we will find out the coordinate values that is first we will find out the x y value for each edge then we will find the cross product of the each edge right and see here so each edge value each edge is represented by how many values two coordinate values what is that uh, what are those values x and y for each edge both x and y value should be calculated first so here i am taking the first edge see the highlighter guys e1 so for this edge i need to calculate the coordinate values that is i already told you uh, uh, for each edge I have how many values? Two values, x value and y value. For this edge, how I am going to calculate the coordinate value means you can see here this edge is moving in the positive x direction. This move edge is moving in the positive x direction. That's why for even edge, the value of the x will be one. Getting guys, it is very simple. So when it uh, when the edge is moving in the positive x direction, the value will be plus one because it is moving in the x axis in a positive direction. But you can see here this edge is moving only horizontally. It is not moving vertically. That means it is not moving upwards or downwards. It is moving only horizontally. That's to right uh, right uh, right side is moving. That's why the y value will be 
zero why it's zero because this even edge is not moving uh, vertically uh, upwards or vertically downwards it's moving only horizontally rightwards that's why y value will be zero x value will be one that two this is positive one x value will be positive one so what is the value of even here even value will be one and zero very simple now next we will find out uh, x and y value for the in the same way for the e2 edge this is the e2 edge you can see here e2 edge is moving both horizontally also vertically also e2 edge is moving upwards that means positive y also in the same way e2 is moving in the x direction also it is moving in the x direction also and it's moving in the y direction also so e2 moving horizontally also and vertically also getting guys it's moving it's moving in x axis yes it's moving it's moving in y axis yes it's moving both uh, horizontally and vertically it's moving so that's why value of uh, x and y will be 1 and 1 because both values are positive here getting guys so v2 is equal to 1 comma 1 getting suppose if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the below comment section right so i calculated the value of e2 now we will calculate the value of e3 now here you can see here e3 edge is uh, going inwards uh, inwards means it is going towards minus x also it is going upwards right it is also going towards plus y positive y also possible minus x is also possible so that is e3 is moving horizontally and vertically that is horizontally that is uh, towards minus x and vertically towards plus y getting guys here horizontally towards plus x vertically towards plus y here horizontally towards uh, minus x vertically towards plus y getting guys getting so what is the value of e3 now e3 will be minus 1 comma 1 my e3 x value is minus 1 e3 y value is 1 getting guys right we will calculate the value for e4 e4 you can easily see here uh, e4 it is moving in the upward direction in y axis but x axis it is not moving in uh, left side also it is not moving in right side also but it is only moving in the upward direction that is why y value will be plus 1 in the e4 edge but x is 0 because it is not moving in x direction that is uh, horizontally it is not moving it is moving only vertically that is why x value will be 0 y value will be 1 this is the value for e4 now e5 we will calculate in the same way in e5 you can see here this uh, e5 is going in the left side of horizontally that is horizontally left side means minus x so x value will be minus x but you can see uh, it is not go moving vertically uh, this e5 it is not moving uh, vertically downwards or vertically upwards it is moving only horizontally and it is in moving horizontally in which direction minus the x direction but it is not moving vertically uh, upwards also not possible downwards also not possible only left side that is minus x that's why e5 value will be minus 1 comma 0 e5 value uh, minus x uh, sorry e5 value of, uh, x value is what in e5 minus 1 and what is the y value of e5 here 0 getting guys now lastly we will find out the value of e6 so you can see here e6 e6 moving downwards vertically that is uh, it is moving towards minus y see the arrow marks you will easily understand this right so it um, is moving vertically downwards towards minus y you can observe there it is only moving vertically downwards it is not moving either in uh, horizontally in left side or horizontally in right side no e5 sorry e6 moving only vertically downwards that's why value of y will be minus 1 in the e6 value x value will be 0 because it is not moving in x direction horizontally it's not moving it's moving vertically that to downwards that's why value of y will be minus 1 value of y will be minus 1 x will be 0 x will be 0 getting guys very simple 
so so far what we did we calculated the coordinate values the two coordinate values x comma y for each edge now when you find out the coordinate values for each edge you can easily find a cross product of two successive edges i told you right in this algorithm what you have to do means first step you have to find out this cross product of successive edges remember that edges are uh, successive edges means uh, e1 e2 e3 e4 e5 e6 like that right we will see this now so th these are the values from e1 to e6 so these are the values e1 1 comma 0 e2 1 comma 1 e3 1 comma minus 1 comma 1 e4 0 comma 1 and uh, e5 minus 1 comma 0 e6 0 comma minus 1 so now we will find out the cross product of the successive pairs here successive pair means uh, e1 e2 e2 e3 e3 e4 e4 e5 e5 e6 like that right see so in a cross product there are two types uh, there is a dot product uh, in a vector product sorry uh, in a vector product there are two types uh, that is cross product or a dot product here we are not using a dot product we are using only cross product so to find out the cross product between the two edges this is the formula that is uh, ejx ekY ejx into ekY minus ekx into ejy very simple don't get confused here so this is the only example I am taking it is not the cross product of the edges first I will ta exam uh, take the example of one cro cross product then uh, we will continue with the algorithm here so see here here I am considering two edges e1 e3 e1 value is 1 comma 1 e3 value is minus 1 comma 1 so here ejx means this e1 you can be called as ej e3 can be, can be called as ek ej that is e1 of x is nothing but ej of x e1 of y that is nothing but ej of y e3 of x that is ek of x e3 of y that is ek of y getting guys now if we apply this formula ej of x is what 1 1 ej of x is what 1 next into ek of y ek of y is what that is 1 that is 1 into 1 minus ek of x that is e3 of x minus minus 1 that is ej of y that is ej of y that is 1 uh, here you can see the value is what 1 into 1 is 1 minus into minus is plus 1 into 1 is 1 so plus 1 that is 2 it is very simple so in simple words uh, first edge first value is multiplied with the second edge second value second edge first value is multiplied with the first edge second value I repeat I repeat first edge first value see 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 the letter first edge first value is multiplied with the second edge second edge second value first edge first value is multiplied with the second edge first value right second edge first value is multiplied with the first edge second value right getting guys so same procedure same formula now we will apply this is just an example now uh, we will apply this for our uh, cross product of our edges right see here i will apply this so e1 t2 that is the cross product here my uh, uh, value first ejx will be what 1 next uh, eky is what 1 that is 1 into 1 next e2 ekx is what 1 then uh, ejy is what 0 that is 1 into 0 now we will calculate this 1 into 1 is 1 minus 1 into 0 0 so 1 the value what you get in the cross product of two edges e1 and e2 that is 1 that is positive value that is important here because i told you right if you get all the positive values then it's a convex polygon if you get all the values negative then it's a convex polygon but if you get a mixture of positive and negative then it's a concave polygon so first value of the cross product of the two edges e1 and e2 is 1 that is positive now we will in the same way we will take up the another successive edges like e2 e3 same formula we will apply here so e2 e3 so first value 1 second value is also 1 
next uh, e3 first, uh, first value is minus 1 e2 second value is 1 so when you apply this 1 into 1 is 1 minus 1 into 1 again 1 but minus into minus plus 1 plus 1 is what 2 again what value uh, you we got we got the positive value so cross product of the here g2 and d3 is also positive that is 2 next in the same way we will find out for e3 and e4 that is minus 1 into 1 0 into 1 so again minus 1 into 1 minus 1 but 0 into 1 is 0 but minus 0 so minus 1 this is very important what you what the value you got here minus 1 so this is a negative value the previous two values is a positive uh, two values are positive value but this value is a negative value that is minus 1 now we will find the cross product for e4 and d5 uh, e4 and e5 now again same uh, formula we will apply 0 into 0 minus minus 1 into 1 that is 0 into 0 0 1 into 1 is 1 minus into minus is plus 1 again we got uh, value 1 that is positive value getting guys it is very simple no uh, no complex things are there here so next e5 to e6 so again first value of the first heads minus 1 then second value of the second heads minus 1 minus 1 into minus 1 next first value of the second heads into second value of the first heads that is 0 into 0 so minus 1 into minus 1 that is plus 1 obviously so positive value again for e5 and e6 also we get the positive value lastly the last cross product the last cross product e6 and e1 so again same formula we will apply you can see here cross product we are we are applying the cross product for each values of each edges 0 into 0 that is first value with the second value next so first value of the second edge with the second value of the first edge that is 1 comma 1 into minus 1 0 into 0 minus 1 into minus 1 0 into 0 minus 1 into minus 1 that is minus into minus plus 1 right 1 into 1 is 1 minus into minus plus that is 1 again we got the positive value 1 here you can see here uh, every cross product yield a positive value only the one cross product yield a negative value so what are the positive values uh, cross products means e1 and e2 positive e2 and e3 positive e3 and e4 negative e4 and e5 positive e5 and e6 positive e6 and e1 positive here all the edges yield a positive value except the edge cross product of the edges e3 and e4 e3 and e4 the edge yield a negative value now uh, according to the algorithm what is the condition there what is the condition so here you can see e1 and e2 greater than 0 that is positive all the values are positive except e3 and e4 so what is the rule there what is the rule so according to the rule all the values should be either positive all the values should be either negative then you can call that polygon as a convex but here when you got the mixture of positive and negative value then it's a concave polygon but here what we got here mixture of positive value and a neg one negative value that's why what type of polygon is this this polygon is a concave polygon that's why i told you right this cross product of adjacent uh, vertex will give vector product of the same sign i told you positive sign or negative sign so either it should use a positive value or it should use negative value but in our example you can see here the cross product value of all the edges is positive except the cross product of the edge e3 and e4 so that's why which is negative right all the values are negative only one edge is uh, sorry all the values are positive all the uh, cross product of the edges is positive except one edge that is e3 and e4 which is negative that's why my polygon is what my polygon is concave so my polygon is concave because it got uh, because it got uh, how many positive values uh, five positive values and one negative value right that's why this is the first algorithm right now I will move with the second algorithm identification algorithm too this is also very simple so first I will uh, tell the steps then uh, we will look uh, look into the example 
so what is the first step here so we have to find out the vertex position for each polygon right first what we have to do means uh, we have to find out the vertex position for each uh, sorry each vertex position for the polygon we have to find the vertex position then what you have to do means for each vertex we have to draw the extension line that means yeah we have to draw the extension line for each and every edge we have to draw the extension line for each and every edge I will show that with the example don't worry so I will draw the extension line between the edges of a polygon then when you draw the extension line what is the condition here vertices all the vertices should lie on one side then it is a convex polygon but if the word some vertices lie on one side and some vertices lie on the other side then the polygon is concave getting guys so first what you have to do you have to draw the extension line of all the edges draw extension line between all the edges of the polygon when you draw the extension line between the edges of the polygon all the vertices of that polygon should lie on the same side of the extension line if one vertices lie on the one side if other vertices lie on the other side then the polygon is what concave polygon so let me see with the example then definitely will easily understand this so you can see here I have considered the polygon triangle polygon here uh, this is a convex polygon obviously this is a convex polygon this triangle is a convex polygon how we can find this so it's very simple I already told you I have to draw the extension line between the edges so you can see here I have drawn the extension line between the edges right a line of all the three vertices I extend the line of all the three vertices in turn what I did I extended the edges also if I extend the vertices means I extended the edges right so I extended the edges of all the vertices that is edges between the vertices right that's why when I extend the edge you can see here all the vertices in that extension line is going outwards only all the vertices in that extension line is going outwards only right we can see uh, we can see all the vertices here sorry for a spelling mistake so it is uh, it is printed it is typed as uh, cell sorry to see we can see here all the sorry for that uh, so we can see here all the vertices are going outwards so this polygon is convex understanding guys it is very simple I draw the extension line what you can observe when you draw the extension line means you can see here this is also going outwards this extension line is also going outwards this extension line is also going outwards in turn all the vertices is going outwards that's why that's why this is a convex polygon so that is a condition right when you draw the extension line all the vertices should be one side that means all the vertices should be in either outwards or all the vertices should be inwards here all the vertices is out uh, in outward direction uh, all the edges is in outward direction that's why uh, edges, edges nothing but a collection of vertices two vertices right that's why don't get confused so here all the edges are moving outwards right all the edges this edges moving outwards that's why it's a convex polygon right all the edges either it should move in outward direction or it should move in uh, inward direction here all the edges moving outward that's why it's a convex polygon now uh, we will see the example for the concave here uh, same example what the example I have taken for the first algorithm the same example I took here also so you can see here I extended all the edges in this polygon also here all the extension uh, lines are going outwards extension of every vertices that is in turn vertices means what edge is a collection of vertices uh, in turn uh, extension of edge is going outwards every edge every edge is going outwards is going outwards every edge go going outwards but except v4 v1 is also going out v1 is also going outwards v2 is going outwards v3 is going outwards v5 is going outwards v6 is going outwards but v4 instead of going outwards 
in which way it's moving it's going inwards getting guys it's going inwards so what is the rule of the algorithm too if some vertex is on one side of the extension line and some vertex is on on the other side the polygon is concave either i told you either all the vertex is uh, all the vertex is either all the vertex is should be outwards either all the vertex is should be inwards but here in this case some uh, vertex is uh, in uh, outward direction but one vertex is in inward direction that is v1 to v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 all are in outward but only uh, v4 is in inward v6 also outward only v4 is in inward direction so this is going to prove that your polygon is a concave polygon because as per the rule every vertex should be on the same side but here uh, v1 to v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 are in the outward side only v4 is in the inward side getting guys right it is very simple that's why uh, this polygon is a uh, concave polygon right getting right so v1 v2 v3 v5 v6 all are moving outwards but only v4 is moving inwards that's why that's why the vertices lie on different different sides right five vertices on the five edges on one side one edge is on other side that is v4 is on other side that's why my polygon is what concave polygon right so i hope you understood the concepts uh, if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the below comment section thank you please don't forget to subscribe to my channel please click the bell icon to get the notifications and don't forget to like and share